As a parent, I understand that as much as it depends on me, I am responsible for setting limits on what I allow my children to watch and listen to. I also understand that not every parent sees eye to eye on exactly what those limits should be. Obviously, I would like to think that most parents have at least some limits set for their kids, while other parents hover so close that whenever their kids see or hear something remotely inappropriate, they're like, no! Get to the chopper! Now hear me out. I'm not saying that we should just let our kids watch and listen to whatever they want. Not in that camp at all, man. Not even close. At the same time, I'm also not saying that we should shelter our kids to the point that they're completely oblivious to the fact that we live in a broken world. So, should we let our kids watch movies like Cruella? I'm gonna let you answer that yourself. In the meantime, I'm gonna share with you a few practical strategies that we use to help our kids discern right from wrong when it comes to the things we watch and listen to. Let's go, nonstop. What is happening everybody? Steven here with Nonstop Families, just seeking to be an encouragement to you today as you seek to disciple your children. Remember back when movies were wholesome? You know, the ones that still have the same PG rating that they received over 40 years ago. That whole wholesome thing was sarcasm, by the way, just in case that flew under anyone's radar. Yes, Grease was actually rated PG back in 1978. You gotta be kidding me. Movie ratings were actually put in place to help parents determine what they will allow their children to watch. Unfortunately, just because something is rated PG-13, PG, or even G in 2021, doesn't mean that we need to go ahead and give our kids the green light. So what can we do as parents to shepherd our kids when it comes to things that they may see or hear from a broken world? Because it's very possible to shelter our children while forgetting to shepherd our children. Let's not make that mistake. I'm gonna share with you a simple three-step strategy that we use whenever our kids come to us and ask to watch something that may have what we consider to be questionable content. You ready? I was born ready. First, do your research. Let's be honest, thanks to advancements in technology, kids today are seeing and hearing inappropriate things at an earlier age than we ever did. Which is crazy when you think back to how young you were when you first saw or heard something that you knew was inappropriate. Man, I'm old. Ugh. But on the flip side, again, thanks to advancements in technology, I can know everything about something my kids want to watch or listen to before they have a chance to view it or listen to it themselves. I just have to be willing to take a few seconds and do my research. One of the best tools that I've found for previewing the content of a movie, for example, is a free online resource from Focus on the Family called PluggedIn.com. Movies, TV shows, music, games, books, even you. YouTube channels are reviewed for the sole purpose of allowing parents to determine what they will or will not allow their children to be exposed to. Or if you know that your child has already watched a specific movie, you can find out exactly what they may have seen or heard from it. Whenever my kids come ask me about a movie that they've seen advertised or something that they've seen on a streaming service and ask if they can watch it, PluggedIn.com is the first place I go. Secondly, as much as you're able to, and if you deem it appropriate, watch and listen with your children. Obviously, by sitting down and watching a movie or a TV show with your kids, you're going to know exactly what they're taking in and be able to effectively help them discern the good from the bad. Plus, you're spending time with your kids. That's a good thing. And third, have a conversation with your children about what you've just seen or heard. Anytime that our family watches a movie together, when it's over, I try to ask our kids two questions. One, what is this trying to teach me? Because everything that we listen to, watch, or even read is trying to influence us in some way. And they're especially trying to influence our children. And question two, is that true? What is this trying to teach me? And is that true? And the standard for what we know is true and right is God's word, the Bible. 
In short, we're trying to teach our children discernment, the ability to judge well. It's something that we have to learn to do and something that we have to teach our children to do. That's why the psalmist writes, teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Eventually, our kids are gonna grow up and watch whatever they want. They won't need our permission anymore. And it's at that time that we want them to be able to discern between right and wrong, truth and lies, and be able to turn from it on their own and pursue righteousness. And this will not happen, guys, if we're not instilling a biblical worldview in our kids and reading and studying the Bible with them. In the end, no matter how hard you try, you're not going to avoid intense conversations with your kids by just simply staying away from movies and TV shows all the time. Because honestly, if you're reading the Bible with your kids, you're gonna have to have some pretty intense conversations about a broken world when you get to passages like, oh, I don't know, Lot and his daughters. Guys, if this was helpful to you, do us a favor, like and share this video right now. Also make sure to like, follow and or subscribe via Facebook and YouTube at Nonstop Families. And don't forget to stay up to date by signing up for our mailing list at nonstopfamilies.com. Have a great week, everybody. Now go and make the most of that family movie night and go nonstop.